Hey, it's great to see you back on my channel, Finding America, and I hope you had a great Christmas. This week's video consists of two separate hunts, because Chris and I were lucky enough to go out twice this week. Uh, the first hunt, we revisited the woods, and uh, those are the woods where I found that uh, really cool artillery-themed Civil War cufflink in the previous video, uh, Weather Frightful Finds Delightful. And uh, this time, we found some nice things, and I even found one really cool thing. So once again, thanks a lot for stopping by. And if you like what you see at the end of the video, please hit that subscribe button down there. And, uh, and if you hit the bell next to it, you'll never miss a video. You'll get a notification every time we put one up. So thank you, and I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Well, I just got a slamming high tone, and I was just like, oh man, could this be the plate I've been waiting on? And uh, yeah, well, it was a plate, but not quite what I was expecting at a Civil War site. But uh, pretty cool anyway. It's a uh, Georgia plate, 1971, Walker County. So uh, yeah, well, heck, might be able to stick that on eBay. Someone's got a 71 Cuda or something looking for a vintage tag. All right, well, hopefully I'll get my belt plate. <laughs> well, I got a nice overload signal, which I always like to dig, especially out here. And, uh, yeah, I guess this falls into the uh, never know what's going to come out of that whole category. That's an old uh, an old wheel, probably to an old uh, doll buggy. So, definitely pretty old. I have to say that's the first that I've ever dug. But, uh, pretty cool find. What are you working on? Well, I've got a pretty sweet uh, bullet signal. Only about three, four inches down, so I thought we'd do the curse of the uh, live dig. Let's see if uh, see if we get one. Oh, I hope so. It sounds good. Good depth on it. <clears throat> what? Yep. <laughs> Would you even believe it? Is that a nickel? I think it might be a token. <laughs> Can you believe really? it? Really? I was expecting a bullet. Yeah, that might be good too, though. Oh, heck. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Come on. I think it might be. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my. Oh, I don't wow. know if this is a war token or not. <laughs> I got to get my loop out. It's uh, it's looking promising. Well, it's not Civil War, but it is a killer token. It says two and a half on it. Above it, it says Utopia Cafe, Morristown, Tennessee. And it has the same exact thing on the other side. It's kind of cool. It's got the uh, border around the coin, as you can see. It's actually got some pretty nice weight to it. I have never seen this token. Uh, Hopefully you know, the research turns something up on it, but what a killer find. I think I've already made my day. <laughs> oh boy, that's awesome. And this is a very heavily hunted spot and this is only three inches down. So we're going to keep pounding this. <laughs> well, we have been swinging and swinging and swinging for about an hour. Find a few things here and there, buck and ball, things like that. But then Chris, he chased me down. I had to come back up here to see what he found. Go ahead, Chris, you tell him what well, you found. <laughs> it looks like it's just a compact, but uh, finally, <laughs> there's something in it. <laughs> All the compacts we've ever thought, uh, maybe there's a coin in it. Well, something's rattling inside this one but we it, don't know what it is. It so. sounds good. It may be Bazinga, it may be uh, Silver Coinage. We don't uh, know. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see if we can get this thing open. It might be too, too thick. Damn. Oh, that's sealed in there. Let's see if I got... Uh, got a knife on it? I think I might have a pocket knife. Yeah. Just don't, don't cut your fingers off. Well, it might be worth it. 
Let's see what's in there. Oh. Wow, that thing is... If I cut the... Looks like if I go in from the front, it's kind of eaten up. Oh, that's gonna... Oh my God, there it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Edit that. Well, something was rattling. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, the, it was the mirror that was broken. Oh, oh what a freaking bummer. Well, see. That's the uh, Adventures in Metal Attack. <laughs> oh, you sounded so good. Oh man. Uh, well. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Make sure there's. Yep. Yeah. There's no coins. Well, it is a cool compact. <laughs> All right. Well, one of these days we're actually going to find a compact uh, with a coin in it. <laughs> good lord. All right. Well, I was super stoked to find that token. It had been a long time since I found a genuine older token. And after I found that, um, things kind of dried up that day. Uh, we tried another spot and uh, spent quite a bit of time hunting. Just didn't find anything really noteworthy. But I was definitely happy with that token. So the next hunt, Chris and I decided, hey, let's do a little hunt on Christmas Eve. And uh, we picked out a public park that is very well known to local detectors. And, uh, but we were concerned about hunting the woods that were lying on the outskirts of the park. Um, so when we got there, we met up in the parking lot. Uh, there, there's a nice manicured grassy area and then the wood line. So we started heading to the wood line and I told Chris, I said, hey, let's just try this area, you know, next to the parking lot and uh, see if we get anything. And uh, yeah, it was pretty funny because we were going to go all the way in those woods. And it turns out we just needed to go a few yards from where we parked the car. It's a convex flatty. Still got some gilt showing through. Oh wow. That's got some age to it. Yeah. Take a look here. Kind of a uh, gilt mark on the back. I don't know. Early 1800s. Very cool. Now Chris has a pretty good target over here. He's going to live dig it for the heck of it. It's up in the sidewall here. Oh. Let's see. I just came up here to get Chris because I just dug something awesome just about <laughs> 20 feet away. But I thought, well, let's go ahead and film and see what he's got here because uh, we've already made two awesome finds here. What do you got? What do you got? Is that more of that frame? No, that's a nail. That can't be it. Yeah, it's high toning pretty good. That was too solid. <clears throat> I think it is further over here. Oh, what the heck? Oh. That's pretty strong. Oops, I'm off in here. Oh. The funny thing is, I'm filming this and I can barely contain myself because I got something really <laughs> nice. Over there. I got something really nice to film look, next. Look. Oh, my lord. Oh. You got a buckle. What is it? Is it a buckle? I think. Oh my gosh. Yep. A little D buckle. Nice. Ring up nice. Hope you don't mind me grabbing your D buckle <laughs> out of the hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Well, we are onto a spot here. Oh yeah. We're in such an obvious spot. And obviously no one has dug this because we've got a flatty. We've got a D buckle. That, and I'm going to take you over to my hole and tell Chris, come along and see what I just dug at only one inch deep. So Chris, come on over here. I got a 1222 to 1224. Dug down, it's came out in the plug. I have a two piece button. Look at the shank bent over. I know. So let's see what I have here. Oh, it's, I see the wings. It's an eagle button. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, and it's a letter I. I just got an eagle infantry. Holy cow. And only one inch deep. <laughs> it was literally in the plug just below the roots. Wow. Well, oh gosh. That is awesome. I've got another cool one. Got a 1237 banging signal. It was about uh, five inches down. 
and it was in a claw and it was breaking it apart and I got this I don't know what it is it has a round spout on the top it appears to be brass definitely very old but I just don't know it's very heavy very solid brass so if anyone has any ideas I'd love to know very cool piece And Chris called me over. I haven't seen it yet. He said he got a really cool small lock. Look at it. What the heck is that? Look at the keyhole. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Wow. Okay. That is really neat. We're assuming this is a lock. It looks like a little keyhole. This was in there with it. I don't know. That's very unusual. Sitting here. Let's see what the sides look like. It looks wow. like there's writing on around the front. Yeah. Of it. I'll get this cleaned up and uh, give you a better look at it. Give me a better look at it, too. Very cool. Nice dark green patina. It's definitely old, old, old. Early. Well, the signals are everywhere. We're having a ball. Um, got a real choppy signal dug down. I think I've got a knife. I'm hoping this is coming through. The lighting, there we go, maybe that helps. I haven't even taken it out yet. But, uh, ooh, I think it's an early knife. Oh my gosh, it is. Wow. Chris, that is awesome. Look at that early butter knife. Oh, that's awesome. Definitely early 1800s, could even go further back. Probably had a bone handle. That thing's in great shape. All right, we'll let you know what we get next. This is incredible. But this is awesome. All kinds of signals in here, but I was getting a high tone in between. First thing I pull out is a killer square nail. Then I notice the signal is in this clod. So I pull the cloud apart, I get a clay marble. I thought it was a musket ball, you know, giving me that signal, but no, it's a clay marble. So that's awesome, as I'll get out. And I still don't know what's in the clod. This may be nothing, I don't know. Small, whatever it is, huh? Yeah. Here's but, a little piece of Let's see what he here. dug up. They were both in the same hole. That is kind Bizarre. of an interesting looking piece. I don't know. Yeah, let's see if I can. <clears throat> Give them a better shot of this. It's smooth. It's not threaded. Yeah, trying to find a good spot for this. There we go. Yeah, it's cast iron. And uh, kind of weird, kind of triangular shaped head. Smooth. Huh. Anyone has any idea on this? It obviously had a specific function. I've just never run across this. Very cool piece. And uh, it was in there with a little musket ball. Yeah, got a little fired musket ball. Finally uh, a formed piece of lead. This has been chewed Yeah, flat. we found a lot of camp lead here. Well, Chris found something very interesting. Another thing I have no idea. Huh. Thought it was a ring. Look at that. Now, this part here... This part right here is the way it was. Yeah. It appears something's broken off this part. But then it's got this. That's why I thought it was a ring, obviously, but I don't know. It's brass. It's very old. If anyone has any ideas what that is, we're not sure. Well, it's always kind of funny when you're focused on colonial artifacts and Civil War relics. And you dig down and you dig something like this up. This old donkey pulling a wagon. I think it was an yeah, it was an old jewelry pin. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a surprise coming out of the hole there. I'll get that cleaned up so you can get a better look at it. Actually, I really like it. It's a pretty cool piece. Well, came back over here where Chris was. See if he done any luck. It looks like he did. A huge flat button. 
Oh, you got a dandy. Dandy. Nice. I swear it looks like something's coming through on it, but maybe after some clean and see if there's anything on it. Very cool. That's a nice colonial find. Yeah, it's a, I think it's my biggest one. Well, Chris said he found something. Another what's it? It looks like it was closed off. Yeah. Just popped open, but uh kind of look like a scabbard tip we thought, but it's not not really. So anyone have any ideas? Uh feel free to leave them with us. <laughs> Chris got another little colonial relic. We got there, man. Buttons are coming out pretty good around here actually. Oh, nice. Little cuff. Oops. Yeah. Plain. I think yeah. so. I don't even see anything on the back yet. Oh, cool. Well, it's going to be uh, late 1700s, early 18. Cool. They're still out here. Yeah. Here, there's so many cool targets coming out of the ground. This thing was ringing up like a 1245, like a silver dime, silver quarter. I dug down and uh, it says Bronson Fleet Wing and. Uh, Honestly, I have no idea what this is. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and find out what it is. It might be the back of a gauge, but uh, I'll look that up and uh, clean it up and get a little better picture of it. All right, Chris called me over. Uh, I think he saw the mystery that we had earlier with uh, what we thought was like a scabbard tip shaped object. And uh, he ended up finding another one, but this one was a little easier to tell what's going on. This one was the old one. Yeah. And it dawned on me that they are, those are Burnside or, what did we say, Gallagher? I think they're Burnside. There's, these are the cone shaped uh, cartridge shells. From from the rifles, and yeah. they're all, all the shells are stuck inside of each other. They actually stacked the shells one inside each other. They may have been using them to start a fire. And they pulled the bullet and got the gunpowder out, but there are... Five or six in that one. Yeah, at least four or five... Uh, this one has three. Cartridge shells. And you can see where the primer went in that one. Yeah. I don't know if you can get down in that hole, but... Yeah. That is just... Uh, that makes sense. That's pretty amazing. We've awesome. dug a couple of these at another campsite. Uh, they're hard to find, because usually... Uh, they're real brittle and they deteriorate, but these, since they were stacked in one inside each other, it seems to have preserved them pretty well. But that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that was really cool. So that that is a neat find, and it was way deep. And then at the bottom of the hole, there was this big section of chain in the hole too. So, and it is definitely uh It's still ringing in there too. Wrought iron, yeah. There may be some more iron in there, but uh. <laughs> That was pretty cool, and uh, now that we know what's going on with that piece, very awesome. Well, Chris and I had an amazing time during that hunt, and it just reminded me of a couple things. Uh, one, don't ignore the obvious spots, and uh, I'm guilty of that myself sometimes. And two, keep that discrimination as low as possible, and you might be surprised what you find the next time out. And once again, thank you so much for watching Finding America. Mm -hmm.